All right, so this is the ladder snow chain. This is the um, first chain we're gonna have a look at throwing on. First thing you wanna do is open up the inside hoop, pass it over to the inside of the wheel, and get the chain sitting like so on the tire. Now, once we've got it sitting on the tire like that, the first thing that we're gonna do is connect the back up. So our inside hoop has got a small hook and a small chain. And the first thing we have to do is bring the two together. All we want to do is get the end link of the chain onto the small hook like so. So that's our finished product on the inside. Once we've done that, we'll come back to the outside and we'll do the front up. So once we've got the chain sitting on the tire, first thing we want to do is connect the back hoop up. On the back hoop, we've got a small hook and a small chain. All we need to do around the back of the tyre is get the end link of this chain onto the small hook and then we do our tightening at the front. So that's important to remember, small chain around the back, just get it straight on the end link. Unless of course you need to adjust it and then you can, but most of the time we can go straight on the end and do our tensioning around the front. Front hoop, this has got our big lever. This is what we use to tension the chain. We slide our big chain over the big lever, pull it back and tighten it up. So I'll show you over here how to estimate the correct link to you, the correct link to use. But I can show you just so you know what it's meant to look like on the fourth one here. Feed it over. When you pull it back, it tightens the chain up. The retainer holds it in place. But really important, you can imagine the damage this would do to your car if you left it loose to swing around. It's going to take all the paint off the guard. It's really important that we secure this excess and that's done easily just by double over our excess. Like so, every second length's enough to stop it flapping around. Then we pull it back and the retainer holds it in place. That's our finished product, you can see. Nice and tidy, stops everything flapping around. So inside hoop, small chain straight on the end link. Outside, we use it as a lever to tighten it up. That's our finished product. You can see the excess is all tidy, not going to damage anything. And the rear hoop has a little bit of chain just on the end hook. That's our finished product. So coming back to the tire, first thing we want to do is connect the back. There's a couple of tricks to make it a bit easier. First one is flick those legs up onto the side of the tire so that it makes our inside hoop loose. Once we've got it like that, we can turn the steering wheel as well. It's going to give us better access and we can see what we're doing. I've got long arms, so I can generally just reach around and do it. So, now we've got the back done up. We're going to bring everything back to the front and we're going to do up the front hoop and tighten the chain. Give it a little bit of a jiggle, lets everything even out, sit nice and neat. We don't want the red bit touching the road anywhere. Once we've got it sitting like this, we're going to use the lever and the chain to tighten it up. As we saw before, the chain's going to sit in the notch in the lever here, so this is the point we're going to use to estimate it. So that's the notch there. We want to pull the chain and the lever together, and you can see that the fourth one there should go in quite nicely. Feed it over, and then as we were looking at before, you've got to secure this excess. So just double every second link back over. Push it down, pull it back. Chain's on nice and tight. So you can see the red hoop's quite nice and even. It's not going to touch the road anywhere. The chain itself is quite firm on the tyre. First thing we have to do from there is just move forward two revolutions of the tyre, which works out to about five metres, and retention the chain. 90% of the time when you move forward, going to get an extra link out of this um, out of this chain so it's important to remember move forward 90% of the time you're going to be able to tighten the chain up and that's really important there's three really important things when uh, you're fitting chains one is get them tight second is go slow third is only when there's snow on the road